Howdy folks. Really excited to uh, show you today. I spent the morning over at Russ's house and he uses CNC machines, woodworking uh, CNC router to um, make the decorative and actually cut out to size the plywood pieces for my caboose propane car. And here are some of the test pieces just to give you an idea. I had sent him the designs and so he did some test pieces to um, try out making the window detail and that kind of thing. And here is the, the actual pieces. I've, I've spent a couple hours sanding just some of the tear out and um, I've just, it's roughly mocked up now obviously. It's not how it needs to be. Um, so I just finished sanding and I've got the pieces set out just to give you a brief view of them. And uh, let's see, here are the sides of the cupola that will sit on the top of the roof like that. I'll have a window in it. And here are the ends of the cupola that will go on top as well. Kind of like that. Back up a little bit so you get the idea. And then here's the opposite side here, this large piece. So really appreciate it, Russ. Thank you so much for taking the time to first convert my drawings, my just pen and ink drawings into uh, CNC drawings and then to convert it into a toolpath and program it and then we rip the sheets to size the, the plywood. Um, this is AC plywood half inch. I got it at Home Depot. It's called Radiata or I don't know if that's how you pronounce it but it's really nice stuff. It's A a on the top side, C on the bottom, and it's exterior grade. So we cut the base out of that as well. What I'm going to do is you can see this is not the same height. Uh, I'm going to actually notch the sides of the base. I guess that'll be my next thing. I'll notch the sides of the base so that the siding looking part of it goes all the way to the top of the frame rails. So it looks a little bit more authentic that way. And um, I'll do that next and get it ready to fit together. I think I'll <clears throat> I'm going to use some angle iron and uh, to screw the inside together to make it sturdy. But uh, probably just glue and brad it together, and then use angle iron to give it a lot of extra strength. And I plan on making some kind of an angle iron frame for the center of it to make sure the propane tank doesn't flop around. Also, I'll be boring some holes in the center of the plywood base so that it will, um, that any gases can escape out of there as well. But just really stoked about this. Russ went above and beyond. He used an eighth inch cutter bit to cut the sides out, cut the detail. He used a quarter inch bit to route out the openings for the windows and then an eighth inch bit to give it a little more detail and he, he even went a little deeper there where you see where the window panes would be. So I'm planning on painting those. The outside of it will be bar a barn red and then the window frames either black or white and the windows maybe some kind of a silver or whatever. My wife is pretty artistic I'll ask her what I should paint to make the windows look like windows. but. Really stoked about this. Really appreciate it, Russ. Thank you so much. And um, I hope everybody enjoys seeing the product of his work. And we're, I'm really looking forward to it coming together. Even in a, took a minute and we ripped a couple of pieces there to be the roof portions for the, that are sitting over there. So anyway, more updates to come, but that's where we are so far. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll keep you posted.